Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today I have a Etsy shop share um, to share with you guys real quick. And I will go ahead and let you guys know it is vacation time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. Uh, feeling pretty good. actually got some sleep yesterday. Um, yes, or last night. Yesterday after work was like my... Or yesterday. Yeah, after work. It was like my seventh day straight. <laughs> and my foot hurt me so bad. And I was absolutely exhausted. So, uh, me and the husband went to bed a bit early. Now, I have been up since about 2 a.m. And it's now about 15 till 6. But, um, yeah, feeling pretty good on my third cup of coffee here. So, yes, I've had this for quite a few days. Uh, and I have just yet, with work and being exhausted... I uh, hadn't had the chance to get around to doing my shears, so I thought I'd go ahead and do my share today. Um, all my videos are like a good two, two and a half weeks out, so I feel really good about that. Guys, my trip, we leave today, haven't even packed. <laughs> Nothing is packed. Nothing. I have not even gotten out the luggage. Nothing is packed. The house is not in order. Seriously, nothing is done. So, my husband did end up having to work today. So, we'll be leaving later. Probably around 3, 3.30 this evening. Um, do you have... So, I'll film this and go ahead and let it post today. So, give you guys a little update about in real time what we're up to and what's going on. Um, yeah, since my videos are so far ahead. Yeah, but nothing's gotten done. So, I thought I would do this video... Um, I just finished almost working or finishing another project. I think it's done. You guys will see those videos over the next couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, we leave today, Friday the 28th of October, and come back next Friday the 4th. Uh, then taking the 5th Saturday off and it's back to work. Yay! Just in time for Thanksgiving. I can't believe I'm saying Thanksgiving already. But, yes, seriously, like what, a month, month? Less than a month, a little less, month yesterday before Thanksgiving. But yeah, so things are going to get really crazy and stupid at work. So <laughs> yeah, good thing my videos are out. But yeah, I thought I would just come on and do this Etsy shop sheer and just update you guys a little bit about um, where we are and what's going on. Again, next week I will probably be doing some um, short videos and letting them post as like an extra video. Maybe do a tour of the cabin. Uh, we may or may not go on a hike. It depends on whether we can find a kitty hike. A kitty trail. Yeah. With no heels. All level. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we may do some shopping. I have already been, um, of course I have, um, put in like estate sales in the area as well as some um, antique and thrift stores. So that's probably all we'll be doing here and there because we honestly plan on doing a whole lot of nothing so stop rambling Lori and get into this so this right here is from my friend Lene over at Grace and Lace journals um, like I said I have had it for a couple of weeks um, but yeah I've just been so busy I just couldn't get around to doing the um, the uh, shop share so I definitely wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys so she put a couple of these um, kits in her shop um, and guys she had like a vintage it's ballerina um, and these are like her own personal things these are pictures her mom I believe was a uh, professional ballerina and she may have Lene were you yourself I'm sorry I, I either pay attention and don't remember or don't pay attention. I mean, in all honesty, that's what it is. Um, but yes, so, um, yeah, so she had put some of these kits in her shop. And I had saw her show, I think, a picture of her mom before. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful picture. Um, now, I was never one that was, you know, into ballerinas or any of that stuff, you know. Um, yes, but um, absolutely love it, though. Absolutely love it. So, this this will end up being a journal. Um, and in all honesty, it will probably end up being a journal that I will keep for myself. Just And maybe later I'll buy another kit. Lene, if you do more kits, let me know. Um 
but yeah, since it's, you know, photos and things of her mom, um, I just think it's very, very special, and I would love to have that, um, yeah, have that to have to, to remember and look at and admire and love years from now and know that it's my special friend's mother. Um, yep, so we'll get right into this. I will stop rambling. So this right here was a gift, so we will sit it aside over here, and we're going to go ahead and get into this. So I love, love, love this pink ribbon. It is so pretty, and there is heaps of it, so lots of fun to be had there. All right, so let's get into it. So excited. Guys, I did not open it, and it's been about to kill me, but I wanted to open it with, oh, my word. Wanted to open it with you guys. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I think I can tell already I got the pink kit. Of course I did. Oh, my goodness, because they're, they're both equally as gorgeous. So we didn't do too bad at tearing that tissue paper, so... You guys know the drill about me and tissue paper. I um, I know I have OCD issues. We were we actually got a giggle yesterday. I was talking to talking about that at work yesterday. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed, I could be a little OCD about a few things. She's like, uh, yeah, I noticed. Oh my gosh! So she made this beautiful bag. That she has put everything in and this beautiful flower and it's got a clip on there look at how gorgeous and it is the lightest and the softest color of pink wow wonder how she made that oh she sewed that on there or maybe it was already sewed on there I don't know absolutely gorgeous I love it so that will definitely be clipped on the outside of the journal. So we have the bag here. She has sewed across the top of it. Oh my gosh, what goodies. Okay, so let's get into this. Oh my hev heavens. Oh my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I could tell already we're going to have some fun here, guys. Look at this. Okay, we're going to start, guys, with... Oh, you know I could just leave this like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, get off of there. Alright, so we're going to start with the papers... And then we'll go to whatever goodies are in this bag. And then we will get to the laces and stuff. Hope you're all having a good day today. You know I'm having a good day. Alright. So let's... Okay, here we go. So this is just an extra piece of cardstock, so that's always fun to have that. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, guys. It's just something about tissue paper. It has to be folded. Alright, it will drive me insane. Or, insane-er, I should say. Oh, my goodness. Handmade with love just for you. Love, Grace, and Lace Journals. How pretty is that? Oh, very, very pretty. Okay, so these are ruffles here. Wow, these are going to be beautiful pages. All of these pink... Guys, I did go online. I don't think I hit. Okay, so this is on regular paper, and this is on, feels like a lightweight cardstock. Um, I did go online looking for, oh, these are so pretty, um, a digital that would do this digital justice of Bala, a ballerina kit, 
And I didn't want anything too kiddish or too girly. Or maybe girly's not the... Like little girl. Um, I wanted one more, you know, mature adult ballerina style. Um, but I think I found something that works. And it is actually um, Ruby and Pearl. She has a... Oh my god. Wow, guys. Look at how vibrant that is. And I believe these are her mom's. This is her little trinket. Um, some of these may have been her toe shoes. Again, the memory of a carrot. But I do know these are their personal items. Wow. Guys, I even went on a hunt for little ballerina shoes. Because I thought if I could find a, like the smallest pair you could find, how cute would that look on the outside of a journal? Look at her mother. Oh, my word. How beautiful is she? I have no words, Lene. Wow. Oh, my. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so those are Lene's digitals. Absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait. All right, so we have those. So I'm going to put all of this back in the bag, probably minus the tissue paper. So that's cute. Got some pink tool on there. So we can also use this beautiful pink bag. Got goodies in here. So we have a little string of, well I shouldn't say little string, that's a lot there, of white pearls to use. Then we have a chain of some bling. I think I have some similar to this. That is fun good bit of that. I'm going to pause you guys for just a moment. Okay, sorry about that guys. I heard something so I wasn't sure what Bella was up to. So we have a little crocheted dolly here and some cute little flowers there that we can use for the cover or whatever we want. Pink bulb pen. And then in this cute little pink bag. Ooh, we have lots of goodies. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have some pink rosettes here. All different sizes. Some bows. A couple of different shades of pink there. Those are super cute. And some white ones. A little bitty dolly. Look at that. How cute. And then we have some different bling here. These are fun. Different colors. So we could have some of these to use in different projects. Oh, that's cute flower. I like that. Super cute. Then we have a little bottle here with like some little big little big glitter flakes in it. How cute is that? And then some more bling. I love this pink one here. Alright. Fun stuff there. Decide exactly how we want to use it. So that's going to be super fun. Alright, so a goodie bag full of stuff there. Love it. Alright. 
so now we have these goodies let's see what we have here look at that oh wow I need to make some of these these are so pretty they're on a clip look at how gorgeous wow super cute so here it looks like maybe this is some sari ribbon and then we have a crown and I absolutely love the crown okay there we go so that is going to be fun look at that what sparkle and then we have some uh, a tassel here on a ball pin that would be pretty on the side all of these layers here of beautifulness and lots of that could be used for a closure or for just the top of a tag all kinds of fun stuff so that is fun and i think guys too she um put a lot of her mother's laces and stuff in here too so we have some of this uh sheer organza organza ever how you say it um trim there oh my goodness look at how pretty how gorgeous is that well have a couple of appliques here big applique there those pearls are just stunning is that light too much guys let me try to dim it down just a tad maybe we can see better look at how beautiful Oh, now I feel like all the lights were turned off. Oh, these are so pretty. Wow. Oh, I like that. It's got the little sequence and things here. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but yes, I believe she used a lot of her mom's laces and stuff in these kits, she said. Wow. And I'm not going to spend too much time with these guys. I apologize, but just take my word for it. It is stunning. Because I have like a gazillion things to do. I have to be in Athens at 9.30 for my B12. And then I have a nail appointment, uh, like quite a bit of ways. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, yeah, for my nails. And it's not till 11.30. So, yeah, husband's getting off at 1, coming straight home, throwing everything in the car and headed out. So, yeah, i got to get this done and get myself moving i've got to go and get um we or i bought some non-perishable groceries for the week so i've got to get them out of the plastic bags and put them in my reusable bags because i had forgotten those oh look at how pretty that is wow stunning and this is pink Oh, wow look at that this is like a blush color it's like a blush pink gorgeous look at that wow zers guys is all i could say so keep an eye on her shop but go over there and heart it that way if she put something in her shop you'll see it that way you can snag it because I believe her things go really quickly 
Wow. It's all just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, this is my favorite. Wow. I love this kind of lace. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to be hoarded. Then we have this big piece of lace there. And then this one. And then we have some pink tulle. And look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Absolutely love this. I actually have four or five of these bedspreads. And I know what it's called, but yeah, it's elusive at the moment. That's why I can't, you know, can't think of it. So pretty. But yeah, I had gotten those. A couple off of eBay. And then a couple off of... Uh, or from an antique stores. I think I got three from an an antique store. Isn't that so pretty? And I had bought pieces that were already cut, guys. I actually, in here in my craft room, have a whole drawer full of it. That's already cut. That probably a year and a half ago. Okay, so this right here is another picture of her mom, and this is printed on fabric. So you just peel that, and she gave me some batting. That came in all the kits. Um, so you could actually take this off, put something else over there, and then put it here. That could go on the cover. Wow. Beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. Hope you guys can see it okay. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Some more batting. In case we want it for something. And this is beautiful here too. So pretty in pink. Okay. So I put this down so we can flip it hopefully. Keep it somewhat intact. Beautiful the way she had it packaged. Awesome. So we have that whole stack of yummies right there. So we'll just move it over here. So that's what was in the ballerina kit. So now we're going to look at the little thank you that she sent. And look at that tag. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely gorgeous. That looks like a napkin. It's been folded and wrapped around that. That's a good idea love that it's so pretty all right then we have some more of that pink ribbon here and a little pink tassel Let's see if we could get this off this way but you know I'll never get that bow tied back that cute Oh wow, how pretty. Gorgeous. Oh wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Stunning. Oh, I love this. Little pleats with that um, trim right there. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh. So cute. So you could take just a little 
snippet of it. Yep, that will be Hortsville as well. Then we have this ruffle. So pretty. Ooh, there's a lot of that. Thank you. I love this. And look at this pink lace. So gorgeous. Eyelet trim. A very light pink. Oh, I love this stuff. Where you put the ribbon through it. Pink. Wow, look at that. How gorgeous. And these are the lightest and the prettiest colors of pink. Oh, did I finish telling you? Digital kit, ruby and pearl, ballerina. Oh, got a little card here. That is fun. Look at that. It's like a makeup table. That is super cute. That can be decorated and put over a page. And then we have a, another one here. This is a, like the clawfit tubs, I guess. Is that, that looks like it's watercolored. Inspired by Nikki's. Nikki. Oh, wow. That is a watercolor, it looks like. Gorgeous. Love these. Yep, I will make sure that those two go into the journal. All right, so that, guys, is... Thank you so much, Lene. You didn't have to send all these extra goodies. I really do appreciate that. Um... Yeah, guys, so all of these goodies in this beautiful ballerina kit. So we will probably be starting this pretty soon. Um, yeah, so... Um, okay, you guys will actually see this video today. So upcoming Christmas, so let's talk about that. Um, so I am going to be doing a Christmas uh, journal. Just a small, quick something something i'm gonna put all this beautiful stuff out so you guys can see it um yeah but not gonna get into the uh throws of the traditional christmas santa claus santa claus oh i need my crown i'm sorry baby crown i forgot about you over there absolutely love this crown guys Lene had no way of knowing, but I love the crown because I've actually been looking for a rhinestone and or crystal crown that I want to get because I want to make some type of um, vignette to go into my sewing room. Uh, and I want the, a crown, a crystal or rhinestone crown um, to be like the centerpiece of that vignette in there. So, yeah, um, love that. Super cute. Um, but anyway, yes, Christmas. Um, I am going to do Christmas. I went to Ruby and Pearl XO. She's got a couple or three, or I don't even remember how many. I think I bought them all but one. Um, you know, Christmas type. More, I'm thinking religious type. Um, Christmas digitals in her shop. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway... Um, I'm going to be going more on the uh, religious aspect and not the Santa Claus snowman type uh, Christmas this year. So I will be making a small journal with um, one of her kits. And then, of course, I am hoping, double fingers crossed, hoping, hoping, Doreen. If Doreen does a <laughs> Christmas kit, um, I will definitely be doing uh, quite a few projects with um, her kit if she does one. Um, so, yeah, super excited to see if she does one and what she comes up with because you guys know I'm in love with her digitals. Every single one I have saw is just so inspirational. Um you know, if you look at it and, you know, you don't instantly have that, 
or at least for me, maybe not you guys, but for me, um, the first time that I lay eyes on something, if that inspiration is not there, for me, it is definitely not something that can be forced. Um, it's either there from the get-go or it's not. I have gotten myself in situations where I kind of forced myself to do a project, and it never ends well. So you'll see me a lot of times I'll put it aside. So when that happens, if you're enjoying the, you know, series and the process of what we're making and I end up doing that, um, please know I've just lost my inspiration and I'm never going to be happy with it. So I just have to um, put it away and put it aside and maybe pick it up later. Um, it's like our poor little bee journal. It's still over there in the project tray. Just was so excited about it, but then when it came right down to it and that was the next project i just was not into it so i just kind of um slightly suffered but didn't hurt myself too bad uh through making that b journal and the cover is still not done because you guys know i had asked you what you thought about i think it was the black lace on the front uh and the majority said no so um i really need to get it out and finish it up but like i said the inspiration was just not there uh, throughout that and I didn't really enjoy it I just felt like I needed to finish it up for the people who was watching it and wanted to see it but um, you know in the future I apologize ahead of time um, I will not be doing that if we're in the middle of a project and I lose my inspiration we will sit it aside I will let you guys know but we will sit it aside and that will be that until um, you know that inspiration returns or whatever it is you want to call it but I ramble on guys just to say that Doreen has yet to make a digital that I was not instantly inspired by I absolutely love and adore her style as well as love and adore her um, and her talent um, that's something you know it's all I can do to like skin something in like you know antique ephemera or what have you um and actually get it in my shop must less be able to make these digitals um that all these beautiful ladies make i mean jennifer at a trace of sparkle ruby and pearl xo um tina shabby dabby doo -dah, rachel uh gail augustinelli i mean Artie mays and the list goes on and on um of people's beautiful digitals that i love and uh, that inspire me, but I just, I, I'm not that, I don't have that talent, and I don't think I'm ever going to go there, because I'll probably drive myself absolutely insane, um, although, um, I did make some digitals, guys, and that video will be coming up in the next week or so, I'm not sure when, um, but I did take, and like I said, you guys will see that upcoming, um, some antique documents, some antique handwriting, I guess some antique fabric as well as um, antique wallpaper and I did make my own digitals um, and again in videos coming up after the cozy cashmere which is what I think we're in the middle of now and I'm thinking the that of course it's all already done but I think that flip through you guys will see that I think on Saturday the 5th uh, so I kind of planned that so that Whenever we get back on Friday, that Friday evening, the 4th, I can get it ready to go in my shop because I was going to already have the pictures taken and all the information down and weigh it to get shipping and all of this stuff. And I didn't, guys. It's just been an absolutely in exhausting the last seven days, uh, working seven days straight, being short-handed, people being sick, and all the above. But, yeah, next nine days, I'm not thinking about that. Um, but yeah, so I will have time Friday night to get that ready. So when you guys see that flip through again, that's going to be Saturday the 4th. Um, it will be listed in my shop. I may go ahead and list it Friday. Not sure. Um, may just do it Saturday, like right after the video is finished. Um, but yeah, if you start the video and you go and look and it's not in there, it will be in there shortly. All right, guys, please go over. I will make sure to link, um, Lene's YouTube channel uh, in the description be below as well as her Etsy shop. You go over there and check her out. She is an amazing artist. She is, I don't know, she, she is just absolutely amazing. I love what, and I bought another stuff from her too because I just can't. It's just absolutely amazing and stunning what she does as it does a lot of these um, 
women. So yeah, all right, I'm going to stop rambling, guys. I have got to go. It is already like 20 after 6. Got to get in the shower and get ready for my appointment, get some things done around here, and be ready to hit the road later. I love, love, love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, I appreciate it beyond words. You guys have absolutely no idea um, how much I love and adore each and every one of you. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. All right, look for some real-time videos. They won't be lives. Terrified to death to do those, but I will do some short videos here and there um, and post them while we're on our trip. All right, I love you guys so much. Go and check out Lene. Love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.